Golden Skate and I'm here with the champions here at the second Junior Grand Prix uh, of the 2023-24 season, Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky of Germany. Hi, congratulations! Thank you so yeah. much. So, uh, maybe you start with this competition. It was your first competition of this season. How do you reflect your first competition? Um, it was pretty good. Uh, we went in with uh, a lot less preparation than we uh, would have hoped for because uh, I got ill uh, two weeks before the competition so I just got back on the ice um, last Thursday so we didn't have a lot of preparation time but I think uh, considering that was uh, two decent programs and yeah we're just hoping on improving for the next competition. Uh, so this is the, your third season on the Junior Grand Prix and I think you're slowly moving up uh, to be one of the favorites. Now you won your second Junior Grand Prix or you already won one last season. Which goals did you have coming into the Junior Grand Prix this year? Uh, well, the goal was to win, of course. <laughs> um, and I think we just wanted to focus on the programs because we wanted to skate pretty clean without any big mistakes because of the lack of preparation. <laughs> it was really hard, but we, I think we managed. Yeah. 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 Um, do you feel any extra pressure with being favorites or you got used to that already? <laughs> yeah, of course it always comes with more pressure. Um, but we, with our programs this year, we wanted to show our growth and um, especially in preparation for seniors. Uh, I mean, we can skate one more junior season. It really depends on how this season goes and uh, what we'll discuss with our... It's definitely not a final decision yet. We, we still uh, need to skate this season and only then uh, thoughts about next season. But we definitely want to show that we're ready um, to move up and that we deserve to be one of the favorites in juniors. Uh, yesterday, after the rhythm dance, you said you wanted to work on your key points uh, in the steps. Um, is that the main thing you wanted to improve on, or what in general did you work on during the off season? Um, we worked pretty much on the key points, and I think it showed. Um, so that was a big goal because we had some problems with key points last year. <laughs> so we worked on them this year pretty hard, but. Well, we still have to work on our steps, <laughs> but we work on speed as well, and yeah, just in general, our programs. Yeah, key points, key points was the major thing to work on. Um, yeah, looking back to last season, we had we had a lot of struggles with the key points because uh, the rest was actually pretty good last season. Uh, we got good GOEs, we received uh, pretty good levels on, on steps, one foot sections, and uh, yeah, there was a lack of it today and yesterday because uh, yeah, we need to work on, on the levels now But um, yeah, we're happy that the key points worked out So yeah, that's yeah. one thing. Let's talk about your two new programs um, You chose two pieces of Electric Light Orchestra for your rhythm dance um, How did you come up with this? Of course, it's 80s. How did you choose it and what do you connect with this music? Um, I think our choreographer suggested the music and um, it was pretty good <laughs> so we liked it uh, but we had, had to change the third part so we had another music and it was rock and roll and our judges told us it's like not really 80s theme and we could get a music deduction for it uh, if they're really strict so we changed it um, but I like the new piece more yeah so it's, it's good um yeah what do you think about the 80s theme in general i remember yesterday you said you like it maybe a few more words and how was it when you learned that that would be the new theme yeah we love it uh it's, <laughs> okay. it's, it's it's a very creative genre just because uh there's so much variety so we could have gone you, you can go with Michael Jackson, you can go with Scorpions, you can go a little bit to the lyrical side, you can go a little bit to the more dancey side, to disco, it's just so much variety. And that's what I especially love about uh, the 80s. Um, we went with uh, something that suits us more, 
uh, a little bit of the slower part of the 80s. Um, so not really any Michael Jackson, uh, what else? Disco. Yeah, disco. Uh, we, wanted to, we wanted something that suits us, but we wanted a highlight at the end. So the end is a little bit faster. And um, yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I, think it's, I think it's a good composition and I think we can work with that. And yesterday, like everyone clapped along during the last part. Did you hear that? Does that motivate you, or like during yeah, the competition, of course, you don't of notice it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Support from the fans always, always gives you that little extra boost that you need at the end. Yeah, we do it at home too when other couples are doing their run throughs. So we try to support each other. It's like that's cool. great. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, what about your freelance? Let's keep it open. What can you tell about that one? So our coach <laughs> actually came up uh, with the music, mm -hmm. uh, Natalia Karamishu, she mm -hmm. came up with it and uh, they showed us and we instantly loved it. Uh, especially, I loved, I loved the music from the get-go just because the first part is the Rondo, Rondo Capriccioso yeah. and that's one of my favorite uh, classical pieces of all time. Mm -hmm. So I, I was just like, oh my god, that's that's the one. <laughs> uh, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a twist to Carmen, because yeah, Carmen's really overplayed in figure skating, so it's always dangerous to go down that path. Um, but we chose like a more energetic and kind of modern version. Yeah, right? modern yeah. version. That's that's uh, very different from the classical one. And I think it's uh, that twist like freshens up the music a little bit and yeah, brings a lot of room for interpretation into the music. And, yeah. Do you tell any kind of story or have something in mind while you're skating the freelance? Well, he kills me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's still the story, it's the broad story of Carmen mm -hmm. where uh, she tries to seduce me and I, I kind of fall for it but at the end there's this conflict between us and of course at the end I, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> Not a good ending <laughs> for her at least on the scene. Uh, great. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you just said it's a modern version and it's a modern version of Carmen in general. Yeah, this season and also last season you kept a little bit to the classical pieces. Do you consider this your main style or do you want to go, do you have something you dream of, you want to go into another direction? Yeah. I think it's kind of a thing now, <laughs> I don't know, to take old classic pieces and turn them into something new. Mm -hmm. So. I like that concept a lot because it just it has so much variety. Yeah, I just think it uh, it really suits us that lyrical side of the music, like the beginning, uh, where it's a little slower. We can show our skating skills, we can show our body lines, and then. But this year we have like the second part is a little more energetic. As I said, we wanted to show uh, like strength, speed, and just in general our growth, and yeah. So it gets progressive, like the music gets prog progressively faster and more dynamic, stronger. And yeah, that's kind of what we didn't have last year, what we wanted to do this year. Great, so we wish you a great and successful season with that. Thank you so much. Let's go back a little bit in time. I know you teamed up in 2019, um, but how did you two start skating in general? Um, you want to tell the story? Oh, story. There, there is not much of a story, yeah. but um, well, we were both single skaters uh, in yeah. Oversurf, so we like kind of knew each other. Yeah, and I think you you wanted to quit. Yeah, I wanted to quit skating. Yeah. Actually. And okay. I, just, I wasn't a jumper at all, and everyone told me like you should do ice dance, and I was like, always like no. I'm a single skater, but it wasn't the case. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just tried it out, I think. And as I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not as a joke. It ah. started with a joke. <laughs> well, it started like, uh, basically my mother persuaded me to do it. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like it's, it's, with a lot of ice dancers, they were singles before, yes. and they swore to themselves that they're never gonna do ice dance. That was me. 
<laughs> that was me too. Yeah. And, and I feel like it's, it's, it's a lot of ice dancers. And, yeah. uh, and then they somehow still end up in ice dance and they yeah. love it. And yeah, that's definitely the case with us. Yeah. Yeah, so, it was yeah. so random. And then he was like, I was like, yeah, let's skate together. And he's like, okay. And then we just tried it out. And I was like, I want to skate with him. And then my coach told me, you should do another trial. And I'm like, no, I want to skate with him. And then we just. Yeah, it was a pretty good fit from the get go. Yeah, we just skated. So we just stuck to it. And yeah. Yeah, we like tried it Probably out. Probably one of the better week. decisions. For, but then everyone like stopped asking questions. And it was like, yeah, you're skating together, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, seems like a, a great match. So you were, in, you were both in Oberst Oberstdorf before. Are you from the region or did you move there for skating? Or? We both moved yeah, there. Yeah, I see. So where are you from? Uh, I skated before in Dortmund. Mm -hmm. And then I moved uh, to Oberstdorf with my previous coach, um, Florian Joost. Oh, yeah. And then... Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I was actually a gymnast before. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I was doing gymnastics in Frankfurt mm -hmm. and I skated there a little bit as well. But uh, at the age of nine, close to 10, mm -hmm. I, um, I quit gy gymnastics. And since my brother was doing uh, figure skating, I moved with him to Oberstorf. Mm -hmm. At this time he was already in Oberstorf and I moved uh, to him to start skating as well. So I started pretty late, uh, but yeah. Hmm. And you stuck in Oberstdorf and I think you like it yeah. there, right? <laughs> like your home now? Yeah. yeah. We got used to it. <laughs> like the ring. <laughs> yeah, the rink, like the rink is one of the yeah. best ones out there. Uh, but... A bit remote? Or... You, you can't really do anything in Oberstdorf. Yeah. It's, it's a very cool place for tourists, but living there, you get used to it. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. You don't get distracted easily from the practice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In ice dance, who do you consider your idols? Who do you look up to? That's a great question. There's a lot of good, good couples. Um, Any favorite performance? Maybe? Yeah, I know first. Yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, you, know you go why? first, Diane. Yeah. I think um, so. What is it? It it, it has to be Tessa Scott, no? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. yeah. I mean, they're the perfect idols. Um, yeah, they are. They just—it's Tessa and Scott. Like, yeah. There's no explanation needed. Yeah. What's no, they're great. They're—they're they're definitely up there. They're one of the best, if not the best. Mm -hmm. um, from recent years, I really loved Hubble and Donahue. Well, mm -hmm. I was just gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, they were great. I was so sad when they uh, when they announced that they're retiring. But yeah, well, good for them. They, were very they had a really mission. yeah. They yeah. had a really great career and. Did you have the chance to meet any of them because they now work as coaches? Unfortunately, not yet. Not yet. We have met Scott in in person in Oberstdorf, yeah. mm -hmm. but yeah, not any others. Yeah. I guess you will have the opportunity in I the future. So. I hope so. Sure, I sure <laughs> hope so. Yeah, <laughs> good. Um, so let's get to know you a bit more as people. Let's start with how you would maybe characterize each other. Like, it's always easy to talk about yourself, but uh, let's hear the other one's opinion. Who wants to start? Devil in the sky. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's so mean to me. Like, oh, it's, uh, yeah. me. No, it's, it's in a playful way. In a playful yeah, way. Yeah, no, it's, an, it's, it's a thing. It's fine. <laughs> no, when, when we you actually like, like each other. So. <laughs> yeah, I think we're actually kind of similar. Mm -hmm. Uh, Character-wise, we're both definitely a little crazy. Yeah, we have um, the same humor, I think. Yeah, we have pretty pretty similar humor. And I think if you can be mean to each other, and yeah. no, yeah. it's not actually yeah. that that way, that's the <laughs> best level of friendship, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I have only like, good qualities about you. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Hardworking, like the typical stuff. Like hardworking, ambitious, because he is. <laughs> and we don't, it depends, it depends on the things, yeah. Uh, yeah, but about ice skating and break dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a good break dancer. No, I recently got into break dancing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really good now. yet, but uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to get better at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pull yeah. off something on the well, ice. The commitment is there. Like, I can see future for break dancing. <laughs> it's a good idea for a show, show number, maybe. Yeah, that's that's for sure. 
but uh, with the ice stance, it could maybe like some of the moves could like maybe even stuff. fit in, yeah. in, in in some programs. Yeah, you can also like push the boundaries a little bit. I saw in the free dance, you're also against the the boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, the boards here in Linz are, <laughs> are obnoxious just it's because of the glass for pain. Touching the boards. Yeah, uh, yeah, because of the glass pain. You can't like grab onto the boards, and that's our whole thing. So yeah, uh, that was that was kind of kind of weird, but <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you uh, encourage each other? Because I guess in front of a competition, it's you're a bit nervous. How do you? Yeah. She talks a lot. I see. And I just listen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what do that's you say true. to him? I don't know. I just tell. She him. just talks about everything. <laughs> I just okay. Talk. <laughs> I don't yeah. care what I just talk. I don't. Yeah, because because he's listening. Why yeah, she talks about things from the past, from right now, <laughs> from the future, everything. And I just listen because because I need my moment of silence before the competition. Yeah, but we just like I don't know. I think we're like talking normal, like we always do. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, get distracted. Something, something yeah. Yeah. special we talk about or like do. Yeah. We just. Yeah, we just try to not get distracted, keep the connection. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can all see your humor when we look into your ice you bio. <laughs> <laughs> I have to bring this up. <laughs> so, <laughs> Daya. <laughs> how did you start your amazing hobby of cherry pit spitting with Benjamin Stefan? <laughs> well, um, he always has great hobbies written in his bio. And I, um, as my best friend there... I thought yeah. I was your best friend. Yeah, you are. You are, you are so my, my second best friend. <laughs> We're a gang. It's fine. We're a gang. And I asked him, like, we should do something funny. Like, can you tell me what should I write that it's funny? And he was like, let's do, let's do it together. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna write you in. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna write you in too. So I'm waiting. <laughs> ah, so it's not I'm, in his bio yet. I didn't check yet, his bio yet, before. Yeah, I didn't change it yet, but I'm waiting. I see. And then, yeah, yeah, we do it, of course. It's we, our hobby. It's your dude, we, Cherry, yeah. and yeah, who yeah, wins? And me. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you said yeah, you're great at failure management. So, how do you? I think it would be a really good uh, advice for a no, lot of just, people. No, no, no. It's just. Uh, it was a pretty big meme. Like uh, two years ago, I yeah, think, I'm when I when I put that in my bio. Two years that you should change it, and you're just too lazy. Yeah, I was just too lazy so to change it. The commitment thing is just like a I stance and break dance thing. It was a pretty big meme like two years ago. Um, there's like this Asian TikToker YouTuber mm -hmm. called Stephen He, and uh, he's always talking about failure management. And I thought it was so funny. I had to write that in my hobbies. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. it's, it's Really, nothing special about it. I, I have to change it someday, but I'm just, I just, I could get to it yet. <laughs> so, uh, apart from that, what do you then really enjoy doing? Like my actual time? hobbies. <laughs> yes, please. Are it's break dance. Yeah. Break dance right well, is that now. Is a hobby? Yeah. He's professional already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I used to be a professional pianist. Like uh, I yeah. played at festivals, at competitions, mm -hmm. internationally. In Russia and Cyprus, mm -hmm. like uh, all those places, um, I don't really get to it right now. Yeah. Like I don't really have much time for it. Ever since I got into university, just because the university is so time consuming, yeah. uh, along with skating, well, of, course, dancing, of yeah. course, yes. Um, I still try to like take lessons and still try to keep that skill. But uh, yeah, definitely not not as good as I was. Yeah, I think it's really, really hard to keep both up. But yeah, yeah, yeah. being musical, I guess, also really is helpful in ice dance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I go to school. So. <laughs> Great That's hobby. That's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have much yeah, sure. time to yeah. do things. But um, I read a lot. Not a lot, but I read, you like and I I like poetry, like reading, and mm -hmm. sometimes like doing it on my own, yeah. and like um, hanging out with friends. But it's 
it's like basic. <laughs> but poetry is, is cool. And uh, reading, like, uh, do you have a favorite genre, like fantasy or what do you? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I like. I generally. Just like yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, so yeah, you said you're going to school. How is it manageable? I think you're going to a sports school, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's called a sports it's school. Yes. Sports school. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, I go to school in the morning, and he's skating alone and, and coming up with one foot sections that start with twizzle, <laughs> and um, yeah, and then we train in the afternoon together. And sometimes my school lets me go in the morning for some classes, but that's not. Not always. Yeah. yeah. It's, it sounds a bit difficult. How long do you still have to go to school? Too long. Three yeah. years. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and you started studying. What are you studying? Computer science. Oh, and it's an online program, I guess, or is it? Um. Not quite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in Oberstdorf, there's no university. <laughs> no, no, I'm science. studying in Munich. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Technical University of Munich, mm -hmm. and I'm actually partaking in a full-time program. Oh wow. But I'm not doing full-time. <laughs> <laughs> so since uh, since yeah. since I'm an athlete, I can I can do like part-time, like I can I can push back the credit deadlines, mm -hmm. and uh, since computer science is really massive yes and there's a lot of people there it's always like a hybrid thing so you can go there you can take classes or you could just watch online yeah so yeah it's pretty convenient so yeah but I, I go there for the exams mm -hmm. but I never go there for like for, for, uh, for classes yeah anyways that really all sounds very time-consuming yeah. <laughs> indeed yeah. uh, no much time for hobbies I fear but yeah I guess <laughs> you like what you do you both speak, I mean, we just hear English perfectly, fluently. You speak German. I think you both also speak Russian. Yeah, um, yeah. how come you speak so many languages so well? And uh, is there another language you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I grew up, like, my first language was Russian. Yeah. And I lived in Germany, so uh, for the two years of my life I was just talking Russian and then I went to like kindergarten and school and I learned German there so I yeah. speak it all the time and English um, I don't know I think I just like watching movies and like stuff in their original language so I learned a lot by watching because I think you speak better English than the high school German standard, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, I think German English is just like I don't know, I like it. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty much in the same boat. Yeah. So I come from Russian parents. Yeah. Uh, was, born in, was born in Germany, grew up in Germany. Yeah. Um, yeah, English just comes from. Wow. I don't know. The boat. Talented. A little bit from school, but yeah, like but uh, I'm mainly learning from French in school, though. Yeah, mainly I'm from. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, traveling helps. Traveling yeah. helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, talking with other people in English, it's, it just helps. Yeah, and I'm also trying to learn Japanese. Ah, if, if, if you're, there are Japanese, Japanese people have a really tough language. But there's a story to it because yeah. he was like, "I'm learning Spanish now," and I'm like, "You're gonna give up in like two months." He was like, no, in a year I can speak Spanish. I'm like, okay, okay, fine. Yeah, and then and I got then, back from holiday yeah, and he was from like, Spain. I was, like, I was in Spain yeah. for holiday and I got back and I was like, no, I'm learning Japanese yeah, now. Yeah, I was like, how's Spanish doing? He's like, nah, I quit, I'm learning Japanese. But since then he's really learning Japanese. So, so now I guess you have to speak at least a few words in Japanese. No, I'm I, like, <laughs> the, thing, the, thing about, the thing about Japanese is you yeah. first learn reading. I see, yeah. And then you learn, um, like, there's three different alphabets. Mm -hmm. um, two for syllables and one for the actual words. Yeah. And you kind of don't learn to read but to understand mm -hmm. the symbols. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and there are, like, I don't know, what, 30,000 symbols? So you first learn to understand all of them then you learn to read them, and only then you learn to speak. So, yeah. 
It's a it, long way. It's a long journey. Yeah. But it's definitely the right language to learn when you're in skating. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I yeah. told you about the commitment. It is there. It's there. I see. Yeah, and I guess it's a dream of yours to be in Japan one day or skate in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because Japan, from what I've heard, Japan is one of the best, like, uh, hosts. yeah, the they're one of the best hosts for competition. Uh, the organization seems to be really great. So yeah, definitely hoping to be there someday. Yeah, yeah maybe let's end with that. So what's your long time goal for your skating career? We talked about skating in it's Japan, but obvious. obviously Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, I think it's a goal for everyone yeah. where uh, in the sport, the main goal is Olympics. So like not talking about like soccer, football, whatever. Um, I think I think everyone's in figure skating main goal is Olympics. Yes. Yes. So I guess uh, you're. Uh, do you have already the next ones in mind, or you're rather going th towards twenty thirty? Yeah, we don't know. Yet. We don't know yet. It's, it depends on yeah. when we go to seniors. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's see. It really depends on when we switch to seniors, when we move up. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the future has in right. store for us. <laughs> That's a great sentence to finish. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you soon and good luck for your season. Thank you Thank so you much. Too.